welcome back to my channel so it's your girl queen jim back in the building and i just want to say thank you to my old and my new subscribers for rocking with your girl because seriously i have been neglecting y'all and i feel really really freaking bad but work has been taken over and all my days off i just really really tired not really wanting to film and yeah i'm just sorry i'm really sorry uh, but i miss you guys so freaking much okay and i know that you guys probably feel neglected but i do want to say if you are not following me on instagram you definitely should which is queen gym beauty okay i'm always over there i'm always posting pictures and stuff like that and i feel like that is a great way for me to interact with you guys when i'm not here posting videos so just know i love you guys so much but hey your girl gotta go make up paper okay so with that being said i'm in here today to do a beauty haul for you guys and this beauty haul is all about lippies okay so i threw all my lippies all up in this alta bag okay i got stuff from mac i got stuff from sephora i got stuff from the beauty supply store and i got things from alta so i'm gonna pour them all out here and we are going to get into this beauty haul okay jim so the first on the list that i want to talk to you guys about are all the lippies that i got from sephora so i got three lippies from sephora so the first one i want to show you guys is this sephora matte lip cream this was the only one i was able to get because they have been always sold out of all the colors that i want so i'm just still waiting for this local sephora to pick up the ones that i want because literally they're always sold out okay so the color that i have on today is whipped blush and I like it, but it is a really hard color to work with. As you guys can tell, this is kind of a little bit of a mess, but I try my best. But this is like putting straight liquid pigment on your mouth, literally in this color. But I absolutely had to have it because you know what? I love pink and what can I say? I love a good matte lip. So therefore, it had to be what? In my collection. So I went ahead and picked this one up. But yeah, like I said, I have it on today and it's just kind of like a little bit of a hard color to work with. And I was going with like this neon 80s, 90s retro lip. Don't ask me where I was going with it, but that's what happened. So be it, okay? So yeah, I definitely love this lippy. But if you guys happen to see these on um, Sephora.com or anywhere that they're back in stock, just let me know. Um, if you guys, especially if you're in the Tampa area and you notice that they're in a store, please let your girl know because I really, really freaking want the rest of these lippies. Okay, so the next one that I have is the Melted Villain from Too Faced. And it is a story behind this thing, okay? Literally, we went everywhere, every freaking Sephora, every freaking Ulta in Tampa through Brandon and nobody freaking had this okay nobody so um ellie did happen to find hers like right before her birthday and because it was her birthday i rather i would rather for her to have it because i knew she wanted to wear it on her birthday so she went ahead and grabbed that one and i just gave up on the search and then i think like the day i gave up on the search the next day ellie texted me and was like girl they have it in my store do you still want it and i was like hell yeah i still want it so she went ahead and grabbed it for your girl so again like i said this is the Too faced melted villain i'm not gonna swatch this one on my hand because again it does stain but this is what it looks like and this is what the applicator looks like and it's such a gorgeous dark purple and you guys know that I have recently started finding my love back for purple and yeah this lippy is just really really gorgeous the only issue I have with it is it, it feel like it doesn't last as long on your lips so like the moment that you eat something like oily or greasy it's over like you're having to reapply so I would say if you put it on in the morning please please don't be trying to eat nothing right after because it's not gonna last you Okay, so the next lippy I got, you guys, was this lippy from uh, Kat Von D. It's the Studded Kiss Lippies. And this one right here is in Poe. And it's such a gorgeous freaking color. You guys know that I am into not into i am like so obsessed with like blue lipstick lately it is ridiculous and i've been wanting poe for a while so i'm gonna swatch poe on the back of my hand and it's just this gorgeous like navy blue lipstick it has like just a tad bit of like kind of like pinky gold shimmer into it and it looks so pretty on the lips i absolutely freaking love this lippy okay so if you have not gotten your hands on poe you guys definitely should pick it up it's gorgeous and i think it looks good on all skin tones so yeah i had to have that the next lippy i have i got from mac and this one right here is the viva glam miley cyrus now my girl sent me a gift card my girl tiff thank you boo you know who you are so she sent me a gift card and um 
I was able to pick up this lippy right here. And this is, again, like I said, the Viva Glam Molly Cyrus. It is in an amplified. Everybody and their mama done talked about it. You know how it go. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand so you guys can see the color, at least on my skin tone. And it's so freaking pretty. Like... I really love this. I love this more than my Viva Glam Nikki. Like, I just really love this color. It's absolutely freaking gorgeous. And I feel like I always want to, like, wear it because it's so freaking pretty. So, if you guys don't have your hands on the Miley Cyrus one, definitely go pick it up, okay? So, I run by my local beauty supply store because I was looking for some lashes or something, you know... Uh, there's always a reason to go in your local beauty supply store, literally. So I was looking for maybe some lashes or something. I don't know. But I went in there and I noticed that they had the Ruby Kisses Matte Lipsticks. And I'm super excited to freaking have these in my hands. There's only two colors that I felt like I wanted. I felt like I, ha I have so many lipsticks that I try not to repeat colors. And a lot of the colors that they had, I felt like just kind of repeated themselves in my collection. So I didn't grab them. But I had to have this blue one, which is Blue Lagoon. And I'm going to swatch both of these on my hand so you guys can see it. And the other color I have is Purple Affair. And I'm going to swatch this one on my hand too. And I have a really warm Purple Affair. I have did like a lip swatch on my lips just to see how it would look. But Blue Lagoon is right here. And then this is Purple Affair. And I don't know if you can kind of tell, but in the swatch of Purple Affair, it kind of skips. And it does this same thing like on your lips that it does like the skipping effect and i'm not too like a fan of that but you know the color is really really gorgeous i wore the blue one and it's uh, a recent picture on my instagram i probably say about two pictures ago so if you guys want to see what it looks like on me just go over to my instagram like i said queen gem beauty check it out but yeah it's such a gorgeous color on i loved it i wore it to work and i got so many compliments on it Okay, and then I picked up two lip liners, and this one right here is the Auto Eyeliner from Nika K. Both of them are. And I have one in Perusian Blue and one in Crayon Orange, and I'm going to swatch both of these for you guys. And I got the Crayon Orange for another lippy that I picked up at Ulta, and then I got Perusian Blue because of Poe. So I'm going to swatch them so you guys can see. This is Crayon Orange right here, and then this right here is Perusian Blue. It's so pretty, and Perusian Blue actually matches, like, Poe really pretty well. It's not the same color, but as you guys can see, it does go, like, hand in hand with each other. So, that way you can kind of blend your lipstick out and shape your lips with a liner. So, I love this. And the last but not least of the lippies that I got, they all came from Ulta. So the first four I want to talk about are the Ulta Matte Lip Creams. And I got these when they had a promo. I think it was like buy two, get two free. And these run about $9 each. So the first one that I want to show you is this one right here called Passion. Passion, no it's not called Passion. Passionate, I'm sorry. So Passionate is like this orange kind of red kind of color. Something that I felt like I needed in my collection because I don't have. So this is what Passionate looks like right here. And I'm not going to swatch all of these on my hand because they do stain. But one thing I do want to tell you guys is I feel like these are like light colors. Like they're very lightweight on the lips but they don't have enough pigmentation in one swipe. I do feel like you have to double up to get the full on color on your lips. So just keep that in mind. But for what they are, 9 bucks. I really feel like they are worth the $9. I love the colors that they come in. And I think I have four. But I think it may be four to six more colors in the collection. I'm not sure. But I just picked up the four that I love the most and I knew I wanted. So the next color I picked up is Brilliant. And this is what Brilliant looks like. It's this really pretty like um, orange color. And it goes so well with the crayon lip liner that I bought. So yeah, I got that. Then the next color is Striking, and I'm absolutely freaking in love with this color. It's so freaking gorgeous. If you guys do not do anything else, go pick up Striking. Literally, go pick this color up. You will not regret it. It looks so freaking good on the lips, and yeah, I just love it. I can't, can't say enough about it. Okay, so the next color is Elusive. And it's a beautiful plum color and it's not overly like dark and vampy but it's just a really nice plum color. I feel like you could even pull this off for spring and summer. I know a lot of people like to wear certain lipsticks in spring and summer and then the darker colors in the fall but I'm not about that life. I wear my lipsticks whenever I feel like it okay because there's what? No rules to makeup.
not technically okay but um yeah so i definitely love to wear um elusive like it's just such a gorgeous color and i feel like the plum shade you can just pull off like all year round so yeah check it out okay so the next lippies i got were the intense butter glosses from nyx okay and it is a story behind these ones as well i just wish i had ordered online like ellie told me i didn't i had to get them in the store and therefore i missed out on two colors that i really wanted which was berry strudel and i think black cherry tart so yeah i'm still on the hunt for those two but i will definitely find them uh, hopefully soon so the two that i or the three that i got was funnel delight and i'm not gonna swatch these on my hand because i know they're gonna stain but this is funnel delight um this one right here is toasted marshmallow and i got this because after i saw it on ellie i thought it was absolutely gorgeous so i went ahead and grabbed it and it looks good on light skin tones to dark skin tones so if you are in you know caucasian baby type of thing then it definitely will look good on you but if you're a woman of color it will look good on you as well it's just a really pretty like nudie brown type of color and i love it and this one right here is called spice cake and i freaking love spice cake i think spice cake has to be like my favorite one out of all of them it's just a really pretty color and actually i know i said i wasn't gonna swatch any of these but i'm gonna have to swatch spice cake for you guys oh look at this is this not a gorgeous color it's just like yummy straight yummy goodness i absolutely love this color okay so the last two lippies that i want to show you guys are still some more nyx products and these are the soft matte lip creams this one right here is in monte carlo and it's really really such a gorgeous like blue base type of red so if you're looking for a red like matte lip but like inexpensive i would definitely say pick up this um soft matte lip cream because it looks really really good like on the lips like i absolutely love these and i have quite a few of these in my collection and the next one is i think it's pregu and i'm not sure if i talked about this before but this one right here is just um a really pretty like mauvey type of pink it is so gorgeous on the lips i absolutely love it and i've been into like mauvey pinks lately so yeah this is just like right down my alley so yeah guys this has been my lippy haul i hope you guys have enjoyed it i just wanted to run in here and talk to you guys and tell you guys all about these lippies because i've been enjoying them and i've been like saving all my lippies that i've been getting in this little altar bag so i can share with you guys so if you enjoyed this haul don't forget the thumbs up and also leave down below what your favorite lip colors are that you have been loving to rock or anything that you just love to rock in general that you just feel like I should know about. Definitely leave it down below because I always love picking up new lippies. And yeah, gems, I'm out of here. And like I always say, guys, it's not about how much it costs. It's how you apply it. So keep doing your thing and stay beautylicious. Bye, guys.